Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use rendering logic in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. Rendering logic is currently found on the Extras tab of both columns and containers in Avada. In future releases, it may be added to more elements, but having it in these two elements allows virtually any usage you can imagine. Element rendering is quite different from the element visibility options found in many elements. With rendering logic, instead of being hidden, the targeted section does not get rendered at all in the code, making for a leaner code base. There are many uses for rendering logic, so let's look at a few examples. I'll start with a simple one. Here on the e-bike pre-built, I have the header layout section open, and I have disabled the preview for rendering logic builder preference so we can see all header content. As you can see here, there are three containers in all. Each of them has rendering logic applied to determine in which situations they are rendered. So if I edit the top container and go to the Extras tab, we can see there is device type rendering applied. And if I edit it, it says this will render when the device is equal to desktop. The second container also has device type rendering logic, and this one says to render if the device is equal to mobile or tablet. And the third container has again device type rendering logic applied, and this time it only renders for desktop. So the upshot of all that is that on desktop, the first and third container will render in the header, and on tablet or mobile, only the second container will render. If I just turn the Enable Preview for Rendering Logic Preference back to Yes, and then Refresh, we can see the two containers on desktop, and now if I switch over to Medium Screen or Mobile, there is only the one. So there's an example of using rendering logic in a header layout section to display different containers for different screen sizes. OK, now let's look at an example in regular page content. On the home page here, and just down a bit, I'm going to add three separate containers. One will only render if the user is not logged in. The second one will only render if they are logged in. And the third will only render if they have previously purchased something in the shop, i.e. their user role is a customer on the site. I'll just add all three containers here from the library where I've saved them. I'll add the offers logged out first, and then the offer logged in, and then the offer customer container last. OK, so presently there is no rendering logic on these containers, and so all three would display on the front end. Let's change that. For the first one, I want this one only to show if the user is not logged in. I'll edit the container and head to the Extras tab, and here under Rendering Logic, I'll click on the Add New Logic button. OK, so here we can see a conditional rendering statement. To start, I need to select a condition type, and as you can see here, there are quite a few to choose from. There are all the core condition types, and then because this pre-built uses WooCommerce, there are also a number of condition types relevant for products and shops. For this first container, however, I just want to select User State. For a full list of the condition types, please see the How to Use Rendering Logic in Avada doc, linked below. OK, so once I've chosen the condition type, I now need to choose my relational operator. This connects the condition type to the condition value. For this logic statement, I want it to be equal to. Finally, for the value, I want that to be logged out. So this rendering logic says to render the container if the user state is equal to logged out. As I'm logged in, this now won't render on the front end. This is not the same as being hidden. This container simply won't render at all. OK, so now to our second container. I want this one to replace the first one when the user is logged in, but only if they are not a customer yet. So I will edit this container and head to the Extras tab, and this time I need to create two conditional statements. The first one is that I want the user state to be equal to logged in. I'll leave the connective as end, and now I'll add a second conditional statement. This one has to be that the user role is not equal to customer. So all up, this says render the container if the user is logged in and they are not a customer. Yeah, that should do it. So these users will see the second container and the first won't render at all. Now what if they are a customer? Well then when they are logged in and visit this page, I want them to see the third container. So again, I'll edit the container, head to the Extras tab and click on Add New Logic. This time I will choose user role as the condition type, equal to as the relational operator, and customer as the value. 
I don't have to add a statement to see if they are logged in as the conditional statement I have already added can't be true if they're not logged in, so that sorts itself out. Okay, that's it. Let's save this page and go and look how it works on the front end. I have logged out of this site, and so here on the page we can now see the first container, but not the second or the third. Now if I log in here as a user who has registered, but hasn't purchased anything yet, let's see what happens. Okay, so now the second container is visible, and the first and third are not. Perfect. So now I'll log out and then log in again as a user who has made a purchase. This time the third container loads, and I have access to the 20% coupon code. Okay, these are just a few examples of what you can do with rendering logic. With some forethought and creativity, there's almost no end to the ways you could use this feature on your site. This concludes our video on how to use rendering logic in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.